So you're moving to Texas, but you don't have that job locked down yet. Is that wise? Is it unwise? We'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here, market experts, realty, and the Todd Tremonti home selling team here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. People are moving here by the thousands, but it's interesting. One of the questions we get and a lot of the traffic we see on the YouTube channel and across YouTube are folks that are moving to Texas from all other parts of the country and the world but there seem to be a lot of folks making that move without a job yet. Now, I think the magnet that's pulling a lot of those people here is the fact that Texas does have one of the healthiest job markets in the United States. It's certainly for a big city that offers a lot of the positives of a metropolitan area, we do have a pretty significant uh, and positive job market. We have a lot of corporate headquarters moving here. We have great higher education. We have really good public education. So all those things tend to produce a good job force, a good job market. And those two things are meeting and serving each other's needs pretty well in Dallas, Fort Worth right now, in Austin area, Houston, El Paso, San Antonio, Waco, and small and mid-sized towns all in between. Specific for Dallas and Fort Worth, we've got a rapidly growing technology employment center, We've got great health care and uh, banking. Travel has been hurting due to COVID, but we do have, we're starting to see uh, some optimism there as well. Lots of hospitality, all sorts of things, even for fun niche things like professional sports. It's a, it's a healthy job market. So what would I do if I was in your shoes? What would I do if I was moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas without a job? Well, if it were me, I would not make that move until I had my job situation figured out. Now, wherever you're living right now, California, New York, Florida, you know, wherever, I would go get whatever job I need to do just to fund the waiting period between now and when I find the right job and make that move. The reason I would wait is because you may decide that you wanna to move to Dallas-Fort Worth. Well, that's a big, big area. You might find that the right job for you is on the Fort Worth side or on the Dallas side or on the north side of the mid cities in between or up in Frisco or down in Arlington. All those sound like they're part of the same community as a whole, but those may be an hour drive from each other or more. You might find that Dallas Fort Worth is the hub you want to be in, but waiting on that job or waiting on the schools that are important to you or being close to airports or hospitals or whatever may be important to you. I think that's worth the wait, right? So I would start by seeking out all the traditional channels, the online job boards. We like indeed.com. I would go there and I would look. More importantly than those online sort of faceless, nameless organizations where you don't have a relationship, I would connect with everyone you do know here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and begin to explore opportunities through relationships. I'm happy to offer that helping hand that if ever you have a need and you don't have a local friend or family member, we would be thrilled to serve as your local friend here in the Dallas-Fort Worth market. That is our business, real estate brokerage, and we help people buy and sell homes. Even if you're not buying and selling right now, we're happy to be a resource and point you towards some things, whether that be schools or hospitals or jobs, that kind of thing. That's not our primary business, but we love to be a friend to new folks in the community. Of course, if you buy or sell a home later, we'd love to help you with that. But even if that doesn't happen, we'd be thrilled to be a resource. Our YouTube channel here actually does have a lot of information about a lot of those things and those specific markets all over DFW. So feel free to check out the other videos here or comment below with what questions might serve you at a higher level. Just to recap a little bit, if it were me, I would try to find that job before I made the move here. I'd start looking on Indeed and some of the really big job boards. I'd reach out to any friends, neighbors, former coworkers, college friends, whatever, who do locally live here and start feeling out those opportunities. I would get a, whatever job I can get, whether it's retail or whatever, where I am, just to fund that waiting period until I figured that out. If your approach is different, that's fine. Let us know in the comments how we could serve you, how we could help you as you make a move to the market specifically without a job in place. Now, maybe you're married or moving with friends or family and others have jobs and you don't immediately need one. That's obviously part of some people's story, but if we can be a resource of any kind, let us know. Uh, check out the job boards, check out those friends. Let us be a resource if we can help you in any way. And certainly the rest of this channel can be a huge service to you. I hope to get to know you as you make a move to the area. If we can help you in any way, find us online at overunderagent.com. That's overunderagent.com. 
Other information is below. We'll see you down in the comments and we'll talk to you on another video like this very soon.